Today's June 18th, 2013. I have um, been in several multiple offer situations lately. Really in the last six months, almost every foreclosure offer I've made has been countered with uh, you know multiple offer, highest and best. And most of those we've stayed put and have actually ended up buying those houses. But there's been a few where we have been outbid. So my perception based on experience in the, the foreclosure market for the past few months has been that inventories are coming down and prices are going up. Um, I sat down this morning and actually pulled the data from January 1st, 2012 to June 18th, 2012, and then the same dates for 2013. So what you're looking at is a year-over-year -year comparison, year-to-date, and uh, I was really surprised with, the, with what I found. So you see the the number sold has actually only increased by 12 year over year, which is a 6% increase in, in closed transactions, while our list prices have fallen 5.79%, and the actual sold prices have fallen more than 6%. I, I really thought that was going in the other direction until I pulled this data. Um, the other interesting stat was that the price per square has actually gone up six and three six point three four percent and days on market are up nineteen percent. So my perception and I think the perception of, of many of the realtors who are working in the foreclosure space has been that inventories are down, sales volume is up, prices are rising, and homes are selling faster. When you look at this data that came directly from the RVAR, it, it couldn't be more wrong. Um, we see 6% more transactions, prices are falling, and it takes longer to sell homes than it did a year ago. So if you're a realtor or investor in the Roanoke market, I think you'll find this very interesting. Um, I, I really didn't expect this, this data set, but it's what we've got. It's the truth. The numbers don't lie. If, uh, if you want to look at more real estate statistics, you can always visit our website. It's www.portfoliopropertiesre.com. I'm Chad Corbett. Thanks for watching.